Hey, my name's Alan, and I'm going to be your host today for the free presentation. I'm so excited because you're going to see exactly how, step by step, anyone, no matter your age, your experience, or your background, can learn to invest quickly in a simple method modeled after the Oracle of Omaha himself, Warren Buffett, and what it can do for your life. In this presentation, you're going to discover some things you may not even know about yourself that may have been keeping you out of investing, out of the world, and you're going to be introduced to how easy investing is if you follow and learn from the right people. That's what it comes down to. But before we get started, I just want to share three quick tips for you to get the most out of today's presentation. So number one, I want you to come in with an open mind and be as excited about learning to invest as I am to share this with you. You know, we want to avoid coming into this with any biases or preconceived ideas, good or bad, about investing. So we just want to have an open mind. Cool? Cool. So number two, Make sure that you're on a computer or laptop, a tablet works too, uh, you know, and close out all those tabs on a computer so we can give each other our full attention because that's how we can both get the most out of this short time together. And I really want you to make the most out of it. And I assume you probably feel the same way. Deal. Number three, stick around for the duration of the presentation. You're not going to regret it because if, when you stick around, I'm actually going to give you my bonus at the end. It's literally going to be cash in your pocket. But that's it, guys. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's dive right into it because this is why you're here in the first place. So guys, if you're a brand new investor struggling with how to learn the stock market and build long-term prosperity, again, like I started, I'm going to show you my exact fast-track method to go from a literally a financial mess like I was, and I'm sure you can relate out there, to the driver's seat of your own wealth. Now let that sink in for a minute. And I'm also going to show you how you can become aware of a critical outlook. And this is, this is critical because it, this, this specific thing prevents 90% or more of people from achieving long-term riches. It's not really taught. It's behind the scenes. And everybody is not aware of this. And this is like literally what got me out of the doldrums and got me to invest. And finally, you're going to learn how to use my proven Warren Buffett style of investing to create ultimate control over your own life, no matter what your situation is. Now, read that last part again. No matter what your situation is. Now, you're probably wondering how you're going to do this. Well, I'll tell you one way you're going to do this without the following. And I'm sure you have your own laundry list of excuses. But let's go over some of the more common ones. Oh, there it is. Having to subscribe to endless generic financial guru channels you're not going to need to do this anymore i'm sure you know a few of these gems on here and uh, you're probably uh you know getting your uh, daily videos in your ink box and you know <laughs> this is why they make three or more videos like this a week believe me none of them do this for free i mean there's nothing wrong with youtube education but it's oversaturated with people like this basically they say that's they say the same cookie cutter lectures on repeat they claim to want to help, but in reality, it's all geared to make themselves money and promote you signing up for things like, you know, their Robin Hood link, and they make money from ads. We all know that, okay? Also, you're not going to need a ton of money up front to get started. The truth is, investing requires very little upfront amount of money with the rise of, you know, the fractional share investing programs like M1 Finance and a whole host of others. You can literally become an investor today, today for $5. Just understanding the concept of taking, you know, a certain percentage of what you earn per month and investing it on autopilot, you know, alone is going to solve that problem. But we're not going to get into that in here. So just stick around at the end. Your free cash awaits at the end of the video, okay? And you're not going to need, this is a big one, you're not going to need to hire a financial advisor or, you know, go around carrying that, that feeling of being stupid, because you don't know where to begin. Again, most think that you have to graduate with a degree in finance. You have to have 10 monitors attached to your desk that looks like a rocket control station or be a whiz with math and know a ton of formulas. But nothing could be further from the truth. Again, this is just another common excuse in your head that keeps most people out of even trying. It's a false preconceived notion about stock investing. Okay? It's critical. Also, no more excuses how old or young you are. Another one of my favorites I hear all the time is, 
I'm young, I got all the time in the world, or I'm too old, or too late to the game. Again, nothing could be further from the truth. In reality, yes, the earlier you start, you'll be better off because the laws of compounding interest and all that stuff are in your favor. But a very small amount of people under 30, as I'm going to show you, actually do invest. If they do, it's in the form of their 401k through their job, which, you know, it's better than nothing. But that is not what we're going to be getting into and not the reason that you're coming to Warren Buffett and learning in my course to invest because it's not going to get you the control over your your own life and what we're talking about here. It's better than nothing, but just remember you aren't going to be able to live off that if, if, if you're ever going to be able to live off of it at all for another 50 years, okay? Now, I could have used that excuse of being too old because, heck, I was 40 when I first started investing a dime in the markets, much less started to learn how to do it. I simply got to a point where I decided to learn it no matter what, and I'm going to teach you, you know, where that came from and how I, how I got that wrapped around my head, and it became something that I not only would like to do, like, you know, batting the bunny around, but something I had to do when I realized this critical step. I still remember when I decided to get in, get that area of my life figured out no matter what it took. And all this with just a simple, done-for-you method, style of investing, modeled after the most famous investor of all time. Right there, that gentleman, the original guru, the only guru, Warren Buffett. You know, and it's going to bypass years of useless, overpriced college study with a minimal amount of time invested. It's not going to take forever, okay? And, uh, you know, I wish I could get back my 150 grand that I once spent on my college education because I got one of those. I simply chose poorly because I wasted so much time and money on my useless degree that doesn't generate money it never has. And this course will start paying you back immediately for a fraction of the dollar amount that I spent on the education that I was told that would help me in life. But it turns out it never did. Okay? So, in fact, we're so confident that this fast track method of investing, this simple method, is going to help you overcome all these obstacles that we're going to guarantee it that you're going to achieve a solid foundation of investing in financial power or we're going to work with you in perpetuity one-on-one -on -one until you do, meaning, you know, until you get this, okay? We back that up, okay? Because, you know, you're going to be able to take advantage of all these resources available in the program too with our private Facebook group, with other members, and our monthly group Zoom calls for support. Here you're going to be able to ask questions and get the help you need, okay? It's it, that that's an added bonus that's critical to this because this is unheard of in any any course online or off i don't know too many people are going to make a guarantee to work with you like this i mean i can't go back you know after i got out of college i couldn't go back to the my my teachers and be like well i need a refresher course can i sit in they're going to be like well no you gotta you know pay some tuition and they'll laugh at you so i i don't know if anybody can point that out maybe it's out there but i don't think it is so i'm sure you're all wondering who this guy is trying to tell me about how to invest like Buffett and what gives me the right to tell you that uh, I can help you overcome all these things. Well, I, you know, I'm an Army veteran. I did that whole thing for a while uh, and traveled and moved in a lot of different areas. I played sports and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I worked regular jobs my whole life. I have one of those useless college degrees. Yes, I chose poorly uh, and I became heavily in debt because of it. And I was, that's when it started to take its footing around 30. And up until 40, I became a full blown financial mess. And, you know, feeling trapped. You know, the fact that I wasn't raised money minded by, uh, you know, friends, family, parents, no, had no influences like that. I've always put off investing. You know, then I became depressed about money. And it wasn't until I reached a point of desperation that I was going to get this area figured out no matter what. I was looking for. A solution and at 40 years old I had nothing to show in the asset column but red red so you know I'm sure plenty of people out there can relate to that and uh, I wanted to share that quick little background about myself so when we're talking about Millennials who aren't investors bank rate did a survey from 18 to 30 year olds and, they, and guess what they said they most likely cited a reason not knowing enough about the market 38% of them gave that same reason 
uh, for staying away from stocks or not knowing enough. You know, this is a this this is a problem with the millennials. And then the Las Vegas Review Journal had another percentage of 75 percent of millennials do not own any stock or 401k through their jobs. That's really staggering too. I mean, that that option's right there to elect. For for adults under 30, 26 percent of whom said they own a stock, the consequences could be profound, bank rate writes. So not having enough money or not knowing how to do it is a common millennial excuse. But just don't take my word for it. Here's Matt. He just got out of college, got a good job in the tech industry, and uh, he knew that he wanted to start this investing journey and get a jump on it. So here's what he had to say. Invest Like Buffett is a great course for anyone who's looking to get started in uh, investing and trading stocks and maybe you're just a little bit too scared or you have no idea where to get started but uh, this course will give you all of the knowledge all the know-how uh, everything you'll need to to get started and really uh, build your your net worth and and start expanding your portfolio in a, a way that's gonna yield you uh, some pretty positive results it's a big recommend so I wanted to share with you a couple stats, and and this one's from you know at what age did you start investing in the stock markets from go banking rates? You know a lot of people use the excuse how they were raised, they like to blame the school system. You know I say get over it; it fails everyone. You know they think that they can't learn to invest, they're not smart enough, lazy, whatever. But they a lot of the the times they miss that one glaring reason that I'm going to go over later. But this one. You know, it's geared towards women. You know, like it's on the stat there in the blue. Men seem to invest, and in, in th on this on this model uh, at thirty, it looks pretty good. But then it peters off, and then you get to my age, thirty nine to forty four. Boy, it really drops, and that's when I started. But the women on the yellow there, as you see in the forty five to fifty one, it starts to go up, and it starts to outpace men. So we can correct that. So here is Alicia who started investing in her 40s and this is what she had to say about the program. Hi, Alicia here and I just wanted to give a review on a course that I came across actually called Invest Like Buffett. And I gotta tell you the wealth of information in this program is awesome. It has helped me along the way. From A through Z, it is the best educating course and program that I came across. And I just wanted to say thank you because I am a 1099 and I need to invest for my retirement. So thank you. Also, a lot of people, according to, again, banking rates, go banking rates. What's the primary reason you're not investing? Like a lot of the, you know, there it is. I don't know how to invest 9%. And the big one is 55. I don't have enough money to invest. But what happens when you have enough money to invest? Where does it go from there? What excuse are you going to use? It's usually... Do you know how to invest? But most people don't. So, so you know, the 9% will probably overtake the people who figure out how to get the money to invest. You know, so that there, there's a lot going on there, too. And this one, too, you know, goes back to what I'm saying. Don't have enough money right there, 53%. And the next one, 21%, don't know about stocks. But like I said, what happens when you have the money? You, you know, your excuse, the number one excuse is going to be, I don't know how to invest. I don't know about stocks so this slide by statista uh you know on the left there most americans leave investments alone and the staggering part is down there in the blue 66 percent intentionally did nothing during covid remember back in march 2020 when everything just collapsed instead of hanging back that's when you you know you have the cash saved up and you go in and you buy because they missed out and why did they miss out because they didn't know enough about the markets and how to invest okay that's a big problem and then over there on the right the stock market is still america's favorite investment and i think it always will be 28 percent stocks 26 percent real estate and the interesting part about that if you combine the two which you can you know real estate can also be bought in the stock market in the form of reits etfs and individual stocks you know, for most people, physical investment properties and unclogging toilets at 2 a.m., they should not get involved in that because it's number one, it's not passive, it's real work. And it's very, you can get yourself in a lot of hot water and trouble with that. So you can be a real estate investor in the stock market without all the headaches of that. And then over on the left, you know, cash will be eaten up with inflation. You know, the only time you, 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 take, you take on a cash position is, you know, pretty much 
you know, that whole six month buffer. And then, you know, if you want to you know, you buy that dip, you have that have to have that money to deploy. OK, we're, we're going to go over that in the program because you don't get good rates on savings and CDs. You know, people in gold and precious metal. I'm not a fan of that. Bonds don't pay you much of anything. And crypto, I'm not a fan of that. You all know my who know me know my, um, you know, thoughts on that. And then 2 percent, you know, don't have an answer and 3 percent, blah, blah, blah. So that one was an interesting stat. This one actually struck me too. Uh, you know, most people up on the top there do the whole the whole 401k Roth IRA. You know, that's indirect or you know that that's an indirect form of investing. It's pretty much cookie cutter, and most people will do that if they do it at all. It's a staggering higher percentage, but down there in the lower half, under 20 percent actually directly invest in stocks, and that is where the the juice lies. That's where you're going to become. You're the driver's seat of your own wealth because Warren Buffett did just that, and and this is what we're going to go over in the program in depth. So there's a huge glaring opportunity there. And what do you think the biggest issue that couples married or otherwise argue about daily? You guessed it, money. Staggering percentage of marriages end because of money disagreements, as you're going to see here in the next slide by Market Watch. You know, I couldn't believe it when I saw this, but I could relate because I experienced this too. 48% who were married or living with a partner say they argue about money with that person. And this could lead to divorce because down there at the bottom, 41% of Gen Xers and 29% of boomers say they ended their marriage due to disagreements about money. So that could, that alone could be the number one predictor of whether you'll end up divorced or not. And, and millennials seem to really argue about money. I, I, I'm not a millennial, but uh, apparently it's a big deal. So in order to get all this handled, you got to get the right education. So is any of this at this point resonating with you? Can you relate? You know. So if you're interested, there should be a button below in this video, which is going to direct you to a selected time to book a call with us. Okay, if you're interested. But what really are we talking about here? I want to get really upfront and brutally honest with you. Uh, you know, most people trying to achieve this result, you know, as we talked about, they don't know enough. The school system failed us. You know, the, the, they weren't taught by family. They don't know enough about money. The endless YouTube surfing of generic financial gurus. Add your own in there. You know, chasing the next startup, buying Bitcoin, listening to your crazy uncle's hot stock tip, you know, and you just blew 10 grand. Forget about all that. You know, everybody's trying to do it with those quick and easy ways. And you're going to be able to avoid this with my program. Now, speaking about your crazy uncle's hot stock tip, I had an interesting story from somebody that I respected who's a lot older than me. You know, he's a baby boomer. They, they're in their 60s now, close to 70s. But I couldn't believe it. A few short years ago, I had a conversation and, you know, they invest, they started recommending a marijuana stock for me. I'm like, okay, you know, this over like Coca-Cola, Procter & Gamble or Costco or any one of these name brands, a solid company. This is the kind of stuff that uneducated people will go to. You know, it's like if you want to gamble, go to Vegas, Okay. So we're going to we're going to try to get away from that inside the program and teach you how to avoid that cookie cutter advice and especially millennials with everything they're chasing tech 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 we try to want to avoid that. I mean tech is still good but it's it's oversaturated millennials for some reason just because they have an iPhone and they're on Facebook, they think they got to pour 100% of their money into tech stocks, which is bad. And you know, it, it's like here is another excuse by tax efficient wealth member network i don't know where to start it's common excuse not having enough money i'll do it later and not knowing where to start you know the truth is investing doesn't again require a lot of knowledge up front or money to start and we're going to teach you that inside the program and also here's the problem with all those excuses okay and this is where it really starts to tie together the problem with this stuff is even if they're true reasons which they rarely ever are. They're simply excuses inside your own head. And this is what keeps you on that hamster wheel of inactivity and prevents you from actively doing anything about it. 
okay? Which then will lead to frivolous spending, buying liabilities instead of assets, and more prime investing years go by wasted. I mean, this was one of the huge things that I wish I could get in a time machine and get that time back, knowing what I know now. It's basically taking yourself out of something from the start based on incorrect or faulty logic, okay? It's that little devil on your shoulder saying a bunch of BS in your ear, and then if you choose to listen to them and everybody else, it's like you just, you know, okay, well, I got to go back with the excuses again, you know? And what would this ultimately mean if you're buying into all that, that you're going to be on a guaranteed path of never building wealth? It's simple as that, which is eventually going to limit your choices, power, and control over your own life. And it's going to put you in a position of always having to ask someone else for permission, whether it's at a job, whether you're a landlord, or whatever. And this can be one of the worst feelings to live with because I know what it felt like for me. I, it just prompted me to do anything and look for anything to get out of that situation because I was in a huge amount of annoying pain. So how are we going to fix this problem? How are we going to do this? Well, like I said, we're going to teach the beginner or someone late to the game our fast, simple, fast-track method modeled after the most famous investor of all time, Warren Buffett, as we talked about, that anyone can learn regardless, again, of your education level or where you're currently at in life all those excuses whatever it is that none of them are valid they're all going to go out the window okay and this is going to allow you to quickly get set up for the long-term market gains that we all want on us and build a solid foundation of wealth prosperity long-term wealth building okay so then that and let's go one step further let's really get honest here and point out what it ultimately means that you're going to have more power control and choice in your own life and that is going to lead to greater happiness and fulfillment rather than a life of financial helplessness or despair it doesn't get any simple than that what this is going to do and what investing can do for you and i you know and how about this list does any of this strike of interest to you this is what figuring out how to invest and if it's done the right way will eventually give back to you Okay, you're going to get more security. You're going to have power and choice, the good power, not the bad power. You're going to have options in your life. You're going to be able to build long-term wealth. You probably want to pass something off if you have kids. You're probably going to want to pass something off to them. So generational wealth, if you want to quit the rat race, it's going to allow you to get to that spot. Or maybe you can you know, think about starting that business, that passion project. You're going to have greater peace of mind. This is a big one too. Time. You want control over what you're going to do. Okay? Doing what you want, how you want, and with whom you want. This is key. And the ability to have what you want and go where you want. Really what it comes down to is freedom. But I want to warn you that I'm going to go one step further here because I really have to make it, put it in a way that you're going to get it. You got to get to a position of you, okay, where you no longer need to ask people for permission in life, okay? All powerful, successful, and wealthy people have built their lives around a position of fuck you. It's that I, it has to be, I have to say it like that. This is where learning to invest in a simple, correct, and easy way, this is what it can do for your life. Power is not something that you're given. It's something you take, okay? It's ultimately up to you. And I just want to reference uh, Gene Simmons of KISS. You probably all know who this guy is, but he is, a, he is a character and a story in itself from where he started in Israel and, uh, you know, where he came from and his whole take on wealth and money and one of the things that I want to really hit home here and this is why I referenced this quote by him because it's so so true money's never gonna solve all of your problems yes that's a fact but the problem is that I would rather be a rich miserable son of a bitch than a poor miserable son of a bitch any day of the week you're gonna be better off with money than without it again it's not gonna solve all your problems 
but you're going to be in a much, much better position to tackle those problems. Now, we're obviously doing this only with a small group of people, and this is a limited time offer. So if you have any interest in this whatsoever, click on the link below now and put your name on the list. And a member of our team, which is I'm, it's going to be from me, will reach out to you and schedule an introductory call. Okay? Now, here's another article that points to Warren's strategy. Just skim through it. And as you can see, it backs up everything we've been saying here, you know, and how uncomplicated his method is and how it's geared for the long term. He simply looks for great businesses. And inside this program, we will teach you how exactly he does this. It's a deep dive. You know, and there it is from the Motley Fool. You don't need to do anything extraordinary. His method's uncomplicated. You know, he holds on to them for the long term term and he invests and he looks for solid businesses and that's what we're going to dive deep in again in the program and here's peter young college graduate that got his first tech job and never thought of investing until he took our course and as you can see with dividend income like that uh he's well on his way he's well on his way and uh, here's another guy. Steve came to me looking for some advice, and uh, you know he's a little bit older, and he admitted that he really didn't do the best things with uh, the money he made over the years, and he wanted to get into this investing thing, and he was worried about his age. And I'm like, nope, it doesn't matter. So he specifically was looking for ways to improve his dividend income and start there. And uh, in a short amount of time, uh, you know, he he's going to be well on his way for those monthly checks. But here's what he had to say. I wanted to let everybody know real quick about this Invest Like Buffett course and why it's worth it. I finally started to connect the dots on this whole investing thing, even at my age. Like most, I've heard of Warren Buffett, but I, I really didn't know how he actually invests. And, and I was always curious. I was amazed to find out how really simple it is to understand and that the program is presented in a very entertaining way. So thanks again to Alan for helping me get on the right path. This program was really well worth my time. And like I said, we're only doing this again with a small group of people and it's a limited time offer. So click that, click that button below and put your name on the list and a member of our team will reach out to you to schedule an introductory one-on-one -on -one call, no obligations. And finally, uh, we know you're going to have questions about everything discussed here, and it's common. It's, it, it, you should have questions, and we're going to be going over all that in our no-obligation call together. Remember, all you need to get started is a willingness to learn and a stable personality. That's it. Your, your Roth IRA and your 401k are not going to get you to the point of FU, like we talked about, or the type of freedom we're going to teach you inside this program. Sorry to say that, but it's the truth. Now, like some, again, more questions if you have them, and I'm sure you got way more than this, but common ones are, do I need a lot of money up front to invest like Buffett? And again, no, literally with $5 and opening up a brokerage account with the link I'm going to provide, you know, you can start a plan to scale it up from there. That's really it. You know, another one is, do you need to sit in front of a computer all day like a day trader? No. Most of the investments that you're going to learn and most of Warren Buffett's investments and our style is going to gear towards the long term. Set it and forget it with some occasional rebalancing in there. And then the granddaddy of them all, am I too old to get started? No, 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 no. You're not too old. You're not too young. It doesn't matter your age. It's It, it doesn't matter, okay? You're never too old or young to begin to learn to investing. I was 40, okay? I was 40. Now, once again, you probably saw her in the landing page, and uh, in case you didn't hear what she has to say, Evelyn was almost, she was almost 40 when she came to us, and she admitted she really didn't do much at all, and she was afraid of investing. She didn't know how to do it. Another classic excuse, but she really hit the ground running. She took an active interest right away. She always asking questions she made the most out of those zoom calls and she was very good with the facebook group and uh she had some quick market gains in a short amount of time and she's she's definitely now well on her way and she's very happy with the program but but don't take my word for it here's what she had to say again i wanted to invest my money i just wasn't sure where or how to start i heard of this program called invest like buffett online and so i enrolled and ever since then, 
I've been able to invest my money in all the right places. If you're a beginner, just like I was and just like I still am, I highly recommend Invest Like Buffett. Now here's our free gift to you, as we promised earlier, with no obligation. You can use it or you decide not to use it. It's up to you. But by using the link I supplied below with M1, you're going to get 10 free dollars just for opening up an account. You know, even if you don't buy in anything I'm saying, this is my gift to you because all you have to do is select then inside there when you open up your account Berkshire Hathaway as your first stock and boom you're going to have exposure to a wide basket of companies that Warren Buffett himself already owns and then has inside his portfolio yes with just free with 10 bucks you're ready to go no obligations this can serve then as a foundation that you're eventually going to start building off of okay then you're going to be a part of the official investing club no strings attached so don't forget to claim your free gift here, uh, you know, with the M1 link here, you're going to get 10 free dollars to get you started. And anyone can start as I'm giving you this $10 free right now with no strings attached. Okay. So anyway, with all that being said, we hope you will join us and sign up for your very own Buffett Boot Camp. Buffett Boot Camp. <laughs> all you have to do is click on the link now and put your name on a list. And a member of our team is going to reach out to you and schedule that introductory one-on-one -on -one call. Okay, so again, thanks for listening and we look forward to speaking with you and let's get started.